This song is a uh, has some historic history behind it. Um, it's about a town in France, a uh, little village, the village of Orador. Uh, and on June tenth, uh, during World War II, just after D-Day, some Nazis came into town and killed everybody, every man, woman, and child. And there's this couple of photographs from the kids in the schools. There's one kid in particular, and they had like, a picture of the girls, and they had a picture of the boys. There's one kid in particular in that, that class photo of those boys that were all killed that reminded me of my son. He's like a big kid. My, my son's a big kid. He could, he could bench press me. So this little kid, he's, he's big, for his, uh, big for his age, and that picture haunted me, and I couldn't, couldn't get it out of my brain until I wrote this song. So. Hopefully you'll like it, and hopefully I'll play it really well. In the bright summer sky, the sun was shining high. It was a lovely Saturday until I came. They had no other coats. They blocked off all the roads. No villager could know the coming of the man. In a classroom full of children, in a black and white photo, you can see them smile. I swear I can hear them laugh. Time stopped on June 10th, 1944. Nobody lives here now in the village of Oradour. Just before the fire, they marched the town crier and forced out every soul to the village square. They divided the men, not to be seen again. All that was left was pain there and the despair. In a classroom full of children, in a black and white photo, you can see them smile. I swear I can hear them laugh. Time stopped on June 10th, 1944. Nobody lives here now in the village of Oradour. A place of agony. The men shot at the knee. They burned alive. How atrociously they died. The mothers and children. At gunpoint walked again. To the tranquil church where they were all killed inside. In a classroom full of children, in a black and white photograph, you can see them smile. I swear I can hear them laugh. Time stopped on June 10th, 1944. Nobody lives here now in the village of Orlando. In the village of Orador. Yeah. If you're interested, that village still stands. All the burnt out buildings. When Charles de Gaulle visited it after the war, he made it a monument and you can still go there and see the burnt out baby carriages and the cars and the skeletons of the buildings.